Hey everyone, do you have like an exterior part of your house that just is so ugly and you really want to do something to fix it up? Well, that is this area for us. And today we're just going to show you what we're going to do to make it look nice. And the uh, solution is a little thing that I like to call... <laughs> Rocks! on the side of uh, our house and we've got this really ugly area hopefully you can see it they're just like weeds and all kinds of stuff and broken broken stones that were old sidewalk and it just looks terrible so we're gonna fix it up make it look nice we've got a couple uh, different steps to this project first we're gonna get the weeds out of here we're gonna like spray just to kill all the roots then we're gonna dig down a little bit so we can put some gravel in uh, put some rocks in a little thicker so that weeds will not grow we're also going to include this here uh, is like a, a four foot tall fence. It's going to be like a 90 degree angle. So we've got a four foot section and a four foot section that's going to come down at an angle. It'll hide all these messy copper tubes and stuff for the mini split. So we just finished weeding that area and that's all the weeds that we got. It's a pretty small area, so that's a lot of weeds. Um, we have been just letting it go. And so now we're gonna just go through the area. There's some weeds that broke off in the ground. So we're gonna actually spray with weed killer, weed and grass killer so that nothing is gonna be you know, growing. Everything's gonna be dead in here. Uh, so that when we cover it up, there's nothing that's gonna grow through the rocks that we're gonna put in. So we'll do that. And then we'll start digging down a little bit, pulling some of these um, sidewalk uh, chunks that are broken out and then we'll start putting rock in so here we go so I'm using this tamping bar or this hole digger in order to pound the concrete edging which we are removing It's always a good idea to wear gloves so that you just protect your body, which is not replaceable easily. Next step we're gonna do is actually, since we got these rocks out, you notice how um, the dirt is actually higher than the sidewalk over there. We're gonna dig the dirt down, especially right next to the sidewalk, so that we can have more rocks in there to send water that way if we get rain coming in here. There's not much rain that comes in here, but if, if there is, we don't want all the dirt, like mud, getting on the sidewalk. For the rocks, we're gonna use these um, color scape drainage rocks and as you can see they're kind of like a dark gray color and so we're just gonna like um, place them all throughout here probably try to keep about a two inch thick um, pad so that there's no um, weeds coming up through We've got all the stone in, um, laid out throughout this whole area. It looks great. And this is our fence that we're gonna put in. It's kind of like a little uh, fence uh, to kind of hide some of these ugly coils. So here we go right here. So we're gonna, the next part is to 
install this fence. It's kind of like got two panels, so we're gonna have one panel coming away from the wall here, and then it's gonna go this direction and stop so that it doesn't block the airflow from the front of the condenser, because that's important. So it's just gonna kind of come around here and hide this stuff back here. But um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna work on next. Probably all time, go. What we realized when we went to uh, test fit this uh, fence, which I did this time, um, test fitting is always a good idea. It's too wide, so fortunately, um, these panels, uh, we'll be able to cut them down to a better size. We're gonna take about 12 inches off, and that's gonna allow it to fit in the space that we have. Um, and it's not gonna affect these panels at all, so we're just gonna do it. So what we found out is that we need a third stake because if you look down here, we have a stake for this one, we have a stake for this guy over here, um, but there's no stake for this one and it's floating off the ground. So we're gonna need a stake. Um, so we figured out a solution, bam! This is our solution. We're gonna actually take this and we're gonna rip a little piece of this out and we're gonna cut an angle and make our own stake out of this cutoff that we have from when we, when we made this shorter, so. So, this looks amazing and a thousand times better than it did before. When you walk up these steps here at the front, seeing this is gonna look a whole lot better than messy cords and messy weeds. So I'm really pleased with how it turned out. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we put out a new one. Also, comment down below and give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, we'll see you later.